Okay, how's it going guys? Bullets here. We're back with another Grand Theft Auto Online video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to source special cargo. Now I do have that video up on my channel but this is going to be a continuation of that. So what you're going to do to get this started is you're going to go to your master control terminal. If you guys don't have a master control terminal just go ahead travel around to your different businesses what you're gonna do is you're gonna put around in your bunker and all the businesses you guys have open now as you can see I already have supplies in all my businesses so we're not gonna do that but go ahead put all supplies in all your businesses now if you guys are wondering huh I wonder why bullets changes arcade location look I'll show you guys Okay, so our location is right here, and our two warehouses are right here. I'm going to park the terabyte about here-ish, here. So, as you can see, the arcade that I used to have was all the way over here. So that would, that would take some traveling time just to resupply my businesses. But, since we're right here, and we go to here, look at that, so much closer. Plus, there's many, many other perks to having this arcade location. The pros definitely outweigh the, outweigh the cons for this arcade location. And that's ultimately why I switched it. So after you guys are done putting supplies into your passive businesses, you're going to go outside of your arcade, spawn in your terabyte, and I'll show you guys exactly where to park it. And the two warehouses I recommend you guys should buy and own is the Darnell Bros Warehouse, which is right here. It's the most expensive, but trust me, it is in a very good location. And the Logistics Depot Warehouse, because you can park your terabyte right in between. I'm going to be parking it right here like I showed you before. Let's call it in. That way you don't have to keep respawning the terabyte returning it to storage because truthfully sometimes I forget to return it to storage to be honest so I just like to park it right in between the travel time is not far in between each of your warehouses so we're gonna go ahead and spawn the presser mark 2 out of the terabyte I have the <laughs> Dodo seaplane parked there because I just got done selling my meth. Now, you guys can sell the bunker, not bunker, MC businesses solo, but I do, I would recommend you guys have at least one friend. It does take a while. Say some of them take almost a half hour to sell all of them. Okay, what we're going to do is just, we're just going to go ahead. You know what, we'll just go ahead and return the vehicle to storage. I'm going to go ahead and drive the terabyte over to our area. So yeah guys, we are literally... Today's Saturday, we are literally three days away from the update. Smash that like button and stay tuned because I will be covering this update extensively. You guys do not want to miss it. Now I know my videos don't have the fancy editing, but I promise you they will get the job done. Okay, so you're going to go down here. Looks like we uh made that guy a little upset. We ran into his car. No big deal. And the reason why we park our terabyte down here is let's say you need to call in an aircraft. It is literally going to spawn so close. So it's going to spawn over there. It's, you know what, let me show you guys this. So literally, if you need an aircraft, watch this. Sea Sparrow, Kula, Hunter. Let's say you guys want a fast helicopter. Look at where it spawns. Look at that. Not even a far run to it and that's why we have the terabyte down here plus so that way you don't have to deal with traffic because you know how relentless traffic is in this game so you're gonna hold right on the d-pad to go into the nerve center if you're on xbox or pc i'm not sure what it is on them okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna 
go to your touch screen not client jobs <laughs> okay source three crates it, since we have two large warehouses it's three crates if you guys are doing the nine crate method you can do one to two crates but I recommend just doing three crates because time is money people we're gonna choose our first warehouse go ahead and go it's through the missions okay it's there for taking let's see if we got okay so right there look no warehouse on the map means it's a vehicle if we get the warehouse on the map it means it's gonna be the three individuals it just depends on the location really of where the individual crates are so let's say if they spawn in Chumash, yeah, you guys are going to have a long travel time. But if they spawn closer to the warehouse, um, it's not going to be so bad. Okay, so let's just go to the area and see what we got. It's either going to be Trackify, Law Enforcement. Okay, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to just get in front of the van... And I recommend you guys have do have FMJ rounds if you don't. <laughs> Man, it's going to be really hard to shoot the police officer out. Light him up. Got him. Hey, we're going to pull out a regular rifle. You know what? Get a shotgun. Just rack him. Okay, pick it up. Call Esther. Don't follow the GPS exactly. Just go to the next road over. Exactly? Move one a level. There we go. Okay, so you're See, and you just trouble. got a straight line. Why would you make two turns okay, okay. just to get to this road? It doesn't make any sense, you guys. So, I don't know if I explained this before, but to wait for your passive businesses take at least two hours. Sometimes I do two hours, and sometimes they're not all the way filled like the cocaine usually is but the other four sometimes aren't so if you want you can wait a little more than two hours but yeah two hours minimum maybe a little more and then you want to put another full round of supplies in you want to keep doing that till your businesses get full so you're doing your active business which is the cargo special cargo right now and then while that's uh while you're doing your active stuff your passive stuff is building in the background so you're making a, the most money you can per hour now the reason why this isn't a heist video is just because we were just having so much trouble trying to get out the elite challenge and i just got just frustrated over the past couple of days we've been trying for the young ancestor and I think we just got the call for a special item. Let's go to the Terabyte and check. Okay, so I accidentally hung up right away on, this, on the assistant. If that ever happens, if she says, we got an opportunity, boss, that means special item. Go grab it. You will not regret it. It does cost a little more money, but you get a bigger return. Totally worth it. So yeah, so the reason why we're not doing a heist video is because, um, uh, looks like we didn't get one. That's okay. We'll just keep filling crates. Special cargo. Okay. General call. Warehouse isn't on the map. Let's go around and grab that vehicle. So yeah, we just been, I just been trying young ancestor trying to get the elite challenge for you guys and to be honest with you I do not recommend you guys go for the elite challenge we choose high buyer and we got paintings and we chose a 7% hacker just so we could fly through it and don't don't settle for a medium buyer or for collecting less paintings because you will get a lot less money so the reason why I feel it's not worth doing the Elite Challenge on Young Ancestor is because if you guys rush that approach, or if you rush Maintenance, or if you rush Bugstar, you will make a mistake, and you will have to restart. And it's just... You'll just be frustrated, so don't even worry about doing Elite Challenge on those three. 
The only one I would recommend is group sec because all you have to do, walk into the vault, steal, steal all the loot, walk right out, knock out the three guys upstairs, go to the drop. So yeah, I will be uploading to my channel how to get elite challenge. We do get elite challenge for the diamonds if you guys want to watch that as a guide. But you know what? I'll upload an official guide on how to get the elite challenge. We just had some problems. I got frustrated and I just decided to do something different. It's just not my day today, you guys, and that's okay. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick. <laughs> I forgot to call it Lester. Ow, bullet. Bullet is a... Uh, <laughs> bullet forgot. Oh, you know what? We can't even call Lester. Okay, Available call in a minute. Oh, okay. That's okay. I'll show you guys a neat little trick we can do for the warehouse. We'll just deal with the cops while we get there. No big deal. Lester will become available eventually. So, don't follow the GPS when you get it over here. You're going to follow the freeway all the way till you get close to the warehouse. Because we won't be doing a bunch of turning. And you guys, if you've ever driven this style of box van, this is called, well, yeah, Boxville. Uh, you guys will know how slow this guy is, so just keep it straight and moving. Try not to crash. If you crash, it happens. And literally, we're dealing with the three-star wanna level, so we might crash. But yeah, just just stay on the freeway because you go you go in a straight line as fast as you can. I believe this guy only does 60 miles an hour top. Okay, looks like it's on. I would say 75, which is not fast at all. <laughs> I think the group sex money truck, yeah, it does a little faster than that. And that that truck is in a speed demon and by any stretch of the imagination. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the guides. Hope you guys enjoyed the call out series. I will be continuing that. Uh, I just have to film it in the beginning of the week because of uh, reasons. Okay, let's give Lester a call and see if he's available again. The reason why I couldn't call Lester again is because we did the mission so hey, fast. Which one of my skills there we go. And the okay, my friend. the I'll remove wanted level has PD. such a massive cooldown. Now, if you guys do not want to wait for Lester and you have as much money as I do, I have 109 million, just pull up the CEO menu, pull up abilities, bribe authorities, 15 grand. It's spendy, but if you don't want to deal with the cops, hey, that could be an option. I don't like spending fifteen thousand dollars just to get rid of the cops because I feel like it's a waste of t waste of money. Now I know it. It's like the blind eye, where you call Lester and you say blind eye. It it does act like that, but it also removes your wanted level too. But you guys pay such a massive price. Okay. Go wide on the freeway, see this little opening, take it. Okay, what you guys are going to do is it's going to be a sh pretty much a straight shot to the warehouse. So with the vehicle, well, it looks like it, the GPS is telling us right. Usually it'll say wrap around. It, to get to the drop off, you don't want to wrap around. You want to follow the GPS on this one. It's exactly i show you guys exactly why. So it would, like, increase your time. All you're gonna, just going to do is pull over here. Ah, this darn minivan. <laughs> okay, go ahead and pull in. Look at that. So easy. Let's go ahead and do a few more missions and show you guys some of the tricks I use to decipher what the mission is. Okay, spawn your presser. Should spawn to the right of us. 
But yeah, as a solo player, I do not recommend you guys buy more than two warehouses. And I can speak from experience. I owned, on my OG account, five large warehouses and filled them all up and sold them a few times. I can't remember exactly how much, but I know on my OG account I made over a hundred million in crates. And the and the reason why I recommend you guys just have to is because it is such a huge grind and I don't want you guys to burn yourself out on crates. It can literally if you do it as a solo player or if you have help from some some of your friends, it can literally liter literally be done in a day. So like a seven to eight hour grind if you guys are going fast. Okay, we're just going to select the next warehouse. We're good to go. Okay, general call. Let's see what it is. Another vehicle. Very nice. Let's see if it's at the area or if it's not. So yeah, post in the comments what you guys are excited most about the new update, whether it's the new music, the new vehicles, new weapons, or the promise that Rockstar has made for this massive new heist. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it all. I have the audio turned off for my radio because I've heard the song so many times I get tired of hearing him. Okay, looks like this one is a... Uh, two gangs are going to be fighting over it, but we're just going to use our presser mark to blow them all up. And that's where we say, get wrecked. <laughs> okay, go quickly because the area is on fire. Our My presser mark 2 might get destroyed. I might have parked it a little too close. That's okay, we can... I can eat the... $10,000 cost easily. So you see what the ridiculous route of the GPS is telling us to, to go? Don't follow it. I'm just gonna take the freeway. Oh, looks like we got enemies. Don't worry about them. Crash right through them. Now, if you guys are in the journey, pull, pull over, get out, wreck the NPCs. You will not make it back because they can shoot right through and they will kill you. Trust me. The journey is that rusty looking RV from like say Breaking Bad if you guys have seen that. And the windows just go all the way through and they will shoot you and they will kill you. But this time we don't really have to worry about it because the... Uh, let me go into first person and show you guys. So... The back is protected. You see there's a wall protecting us, so we don't have to pull over and we just gotta make sure that they don't wind up in front of us because then otherwise they will drain my health to zero so fast. So we're gonna be using the same trick we used on the last mission. Just take the little gap off the highway. And this is why I love these two warehouse locations. They're not in a bad location, and yet we can park, park the terabyte in between both of them. It's just perfect. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh, this game. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Go around. Wow. Traffic is crazy, you guys. I'm telling you. This is why I refuse to drive my cars to the drop off. Wow. <laughs> that was a headache and a half. <laughs> but we got through it. Oh, look at that Speedo van. Hey, put in the circle. Delivered. Now, I do recommend you guys get a solo public lobby for if you want to grind crates or you want to do the import-export business, which I do have guides, and I beg you, please follow them. They are top quality, 
they don't have the fancy editing, but I promise you, it is all my gameplay, and it is done in one take. Okay. One take. But yeah, I will be resuming the heist videos tomorrow. It's just I had to take a break from so just the constant failing. I don't know what was going wrong. So those I will be resuming those, but this is a nice change of pace too. Now the import export business takes more skill because you're actually flying the cargo bob, picking the cars up which does take skill. This business, as you guys can see, is so easy, it doesn't take skill. So if you guys don't like skill and you just want things as easy as possible, do this business. If you guys want skill, Special cargo ready and like, okay, let's see. Okay, this time, as you guys can see, the warehouse is on the map, we're doing the individuals. So if you guys don't, if you guys want skill and you want to do like a various different amount of things, definitely choose the import export business. You guys will earn a slight less amount of money, but like not everyone can handle the crates. Crates are just so take so long to do, especially when you got large warehouses, but large warehouses make you guys the most money. Okay, I think this one's probably going to be helicopters. Let's see. Either that or thieves. Oh, called it. What you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna take your oppressor mark two. Now I will admit, back in the day before the oppressor mark two, this business actually took skill. Why? Because if you did the crate business most efficiently, you would touch down with the buzzard attack chopper, touch down, pick up the crates very softly, take off. And that took skill. Not everyone could fly the buzzard attack chopper like that. But with the oppressor mark two, as you can see, we easily landed, picked up the crate, and boosted off. It wasn't hard at all. Not like how it was when all we had was this buzzard attack chopper. Heck, we didn't even have the terabyte back in the day, so we had to watch the long animation to go into the office if you guys do remember that oh man <laughs> I am so glad that they added the terabyte so I don't have to go back to the office every time it just took so long because you watch the elevator animation run to your seat sit down finally get in the computer and I would do this as fast as I could right I would fire up the crate mission as fast as I can and it still took way longer than if you had the nerve center of the terabyte so yeah, you guys also want to buy a terabyte if you want to be the most efficient at the crate business. If you do have an off, if if you guys are just starting out and all you have is a, a buzzard and an office, it's going to slow, slow you guys down a little bit, but, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. If you don't have the funds to, to invest in all this, you know, you got to keep grinding until you do. The, uh... The terabyte is also tied to the nightclub, so it's not really a cheap investment. You know, it's going to cost you guys millions of dollars. Even if you buy the cheapest nightclub, it's a little over a million. Then to put what you need into the terabyte is almost going to put you at three million. Because the drone station literally, I think, is like 800,000 by itself. So, yeah, it's... You guys, you just do what you can. Do it at your own pace. Everyone learns differently. Do it at your own pace. And, uh, you guys will be successful. And this is why I'm making these guys, because I hope it helps out a player that just is like, you know, there's got to be a way. And they come across my channel, and they're like, yeah, I like, I like how this guy's doing it. So I hope these guys help out at least one of you. If they help out one of you guys, I will consider it a success.
And the reason why we're not going into the circle and we're just parking right by the door is you guys saw previously how far it would spawn us into the warehouse. So it'll just spawn you right inside, you turn around, you exit. Saves the saves time off of your grind. Let's go ahead and pick up that last one. So yeah, and to be the most efficient at the crates, yeah, you do need to invest into a Presser Mark II, which is going to be an almost $3 million investment. Plus, you got to purchase the performance upgrades and the, and the missiles. Those pea shooter machine guns, it comes with stock. <laughs> They won't do anything. I mean, even the explosive cannons might do a little, little something, but like, you want the missiles. <laughs> Don't fool yourselves if you guys think you're gonna do good damage with the pea shooter machine guns or the explosive cannons. <laughs> Just get the missiles. Even though it is limited to 20, they are still really good tracking. So. They are Stromberg missiles, and the Stromberg missiles are the medium tracking missiles. So, here's how the missile tracking works. On stuff like helicopters and jets, they have low tracking missiles. So, like, they won't track for anything. They will just fly by the target, not do anything. Now, these are the medium tracking missiles. So they will put some curve into trying to get get to the target, but they won't go crazily out of their way to try and try and pull up the target. Now the best missiles in the game that are tracking are the Ruiner missiles, and they will circle the target until they blow up. And the only way you can dodge those missiles is if you go behind a building. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to our terabyte. Now, if you guys want to purchase body armor in case you want that little extra protection, there is an ammunition right here, which has a also has a soda machine if you guys don't have the health boost for your Presser Mark II, and one right here in case, not in case, <laughs> if you guys have the warehouse over here. Okay. The reason why we parked the terabyte into the nerve center is it repairs it and it uh, restores, all, refills all the missiles. And it doesn't cost anything either. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the next mission. Let's see what we get. Boss, we've been robbed. Okay, if you get the boss we've been robbed, it's definitely gonna be a vehicle. Hmm, we'll see what area it's at. Um, okay, we'll just use the oppressor mark too. Now, if you guys aren't confident in your ability to shoot, just pull out the armored Karuma. I do it for this one because the NPCs have such good weapons and such good accuracy on this mission that I just pull out the armored Karuma and just take them that way so I don't die. Hey, we're just gonna go ahead and fire some missiles. Okay, apparently they didn't get that guy. Okay. Weird. Okay. We dealt with most of them. We still got a few. See, he's just lighting me up. And all they do on this literally is just poke their arms around and hit you with such perfect accuracy. That's why I recommend the armored Kuma for this one. See that? Oh, let's look at that. We got the journey this time. So just remember, if you get any NPC vehicles, pull over, take care of them. So for this one, I'm going to pull out the explosive rounds. And we got the full body armor, full health, just in case. 
Cause look, the back window is exposed. There's no wall in between. And plus the crates aren't even protecting you. It's just such a small box. It doesn't even make any sense, right? Huh, NPC traffic loves to cut you off. Okay, we'll keep our radar expanded just in case we get some enemies. Yep. Pull over, take care of them. Now, if you guys want, you can pull out the grenade launcher if you don't have the explosive rounds. Just the explosive rounds make it a little bit easier. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop up onto the journey because no cars can run you over. And if they hit the journey, they might knock you off. They might not. Okay. Usually... There is two to three waves of cars. There might be only one. Okay, let's keep driving and see what happens. Oh, look at that. As soon as I got in the car, they spawned. <laughs> Love how it works. Ooh, look at that. Two for one. Gotta love it. Okay, let's let's continue down the road, see if any more spawned. Nope. This will be the last wave. Okay, I got you. Didn't even want to waste my time trying to get the headshot. And that's what you guys should do with those NPCs that just want to constantly take over, just poke their arms around. You know, you just blow them up. Honestly, they're not worth your time and, fr and uh, frustration. They're not. Just deal with them quickly. Alright, so that's how you guys successfully complete that one. Okay, let's go ahead and show you guys a few more and then we'll call the video. Hope you guys enjoy this and hope you guys get something out of it. The reason why I recommend you guys to buy supplies is if you guys say you guys wanted to steal supplies and you were solo, every time you do a resupply mission, and trust me, they take time. You will either get an individual package that you have to pick up or a vehicle that you have to drive back to the business. So when you get the individual packages, they only count for one bar. And if you get a vehicle, it counts for two. So on the worst possible, like let's say you get individuals for every business, it's going to be five missions. If you get vehicles. Let's see, you get two vehicles and a single. It's going to be three. And you guys have to do that for if you own as many businesses as me, six businesses. Because you got the bunker, which is right here, and then the biker supplies. So yeah, it would take you guys so long to fill them up. So that's why I recommend you guys buy supplies because literally it will cost you money. But while they're building in the background, you can do other things to make money to make up for the, the fact that you bought supplies. Okay, the seller's page. messing with us. Always know it's a vehicle. We got to take out three targets. Super easy. So yes, it would take you guys so long to fill up those six businesses all the way to full. So please, I beg you, just buy them. You guys will make more money because it's going to 
is going to make your time to ratio, time to money ratio, the best in the game. Okay, looks like this one's going to be at the Richmond Hotel, so you guys are going to be taking out bodybuilders. It can be over here, and the, there will be three Mexicans in the green shirt over here. Where that hospital building is, it's going to be like three medical people. Um, i trying to remember the other one. I think it's right here. This one will be three homeless people and then over here at the movie place and this will be like the go go space monkey suit the astronaut suit and the zombie looking character so it says go to the vanish point but you don't have to we're just gonna fire missiles it locks onto them easy peasy and you're gonna be taking out three bodybuilders and it'll eventually reveal on your map which ones the bodybuilders are see easy Oh, looks like we already got two of them. Uh, done. Let's call Lester. Yeah, there we go. Ah, if it isn't my creepy silent friend. There we go. We'll move How one level. Help? Let's go pick up the uh, vehicle. Call. Now, if you guys ever get this one, rest assured you won't have enemies chasing you back to the warehouse, fortunately. Okay, let's go ahead. You know what? We'll take this route, and then we'll take the freeway back. Yeah, we'll take the freeway. Honestly, the freeway is easier. You don't have cars trying to cut you off. It's a straight line. No lights to deal with. So, we're going to take this way. Because really, there's no... If you try to go the other way, you'll have to take the little... Uh, little break in the wall. And then, you might land on the uh, little wall right there. Let me show you guys up here. So, you guys see the little break in the wall up there? Yeah, that's where you would take it. You might land on that little wall, and then you might have to up and atomize the vehicle off. Yeah, I recommend you guys get the up and atomizer, just in case you get cell vehicles or any type of vehicles that you have to deliver stuck. Because if you don't get them unstuck, the mission will fail. And the vehicle will get all smoky, the engine will, and... Yeah, just not a fun time. Hey, okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Just slow down a little bit to let this car pass. There we go. Look at that, so easy. Look at that, 39 minutes in. We've already gotten a few of these crates done. Okay, if you guys wanted to, you could sell out the 9 crate method if you wanted to, but we're going to go ahead and keep going. Because, uh, honestly, if you guys do fill these warehouses up all the way, you will make more money per hour. If you guys can handle it. If not... Save your sanity, sell at night crates. It's only going to be one vehicle. But honestly, you guys can sell these, and I will upload a video on me selling these crates warehouses solo, so that way you guys know exactly what to do. 
let me show you another thing you guys need to get as well before we continue this video. Okay, you're going to walk in. What you're going to do is you're going to find a red bench. It's in every one of the warehouses. And it's going to be upgrades for all your vehicles. I already got them bought. Now, I know the uh, upgrade prices are expensive. But just look at it this way. It's a one-time purchase. You will have it forever. Please upgrade your vehicles. Because the tugboat is literally the slowest boat in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I do believe it's the slowest boat in the game. And if you buy that speed upgrade, it is going to go... Now I want to say 5 to 10 times faster. So definitely buy your upgrades. It's going to give you more armor. Some vehicles get bulletproof tires. The lock-on jammer is faster. And then of course the speed upgrade for the tugboat. It's cool that the you can get the uh, lock-on jammer for the airplane because people you like to use the oppressor mark too a lot but it's not going to matter to a uh, jack griefer because they could just blow you up the cannons unfortunately okay let's go ahead and continue this this is problematic the products held up okay she said this is problematic and if you ever hear the conversation saying the the boat is holding it off the coast. It's going to be crates. You don't even have to look on the map. So I'll show you guys exactly what to do on this one. It's really easy. Looks like the, um, the, the boat is not too far from the warehouse, which is really good. Sometimes they could spawn all the way out here, up here, over here over here let's go. and that would be super unfortunate if you guys had a cheaper warehouse in like the by the cheaper office so that way you guys time wouldn't be so far to travel cuz that would take you guys a while Okay, so here's what you guys are going to do. You see the two boats next to the big, big boat in the ocean? You're going to blow the two little boats up first. Let's lock it on to the... There we go. Bam. Bam. Now, the reason why you guys want to do that is if you... Let's say you guys blow up the big boat first, and then you blow up the little boats. You can destroy a crate. And I've done that. So, as you can see, you just hover over the water, pick up the crate, jet. Now, this is where your helicopter skills would come in back in the day. You guys would literally have to barely put the little landing things on the helicopter, barely into the water, pick up the crate, and go. Any more than that, and you drown the helicopter, and the mission becomes a whole lot longer. Guys, it literally took me so much practice to get that down. It did. It's not an easy maneuver. And sometimes those waves will get your helicopter. <laughs> oh, and also on this one, sometimes a helicopter does spawn in. Just take them out with your Presser Mark II or the Buzzard, whichever vehicle you guys are using. Right. We don't want to put it in the circle. You're just going to go ahead, put her by the door. Delivered. Now, to make this method a little bit better, if you guys want, you can set a timer for every 48 minutes and you can sell the modded vehicle. I'm going to say the vehicle, modded vehicle I recommend you guys do is the Sand King XL. Because I've been doing the modded dubsa and it's like, I can only get two to spawn in. And I go to a couple different Los Santos customs, mind you. 
But I've only gotten two to spawn in, and I keep doing it, doing it. Yeah, just if you guys want a, a guide on how to get the modded tanking, I will upload it. It's literally so easy. So easy. And you guys can also use a cargo bob to cargo bob it back because if you guys have all your apartment garages or regular garages in the city and you don't have the six car garage next to that location then you can just cargo bob them back so yeah set a timer for every 48 minutes so uh, regular vehicle and then get back to your grind Okay, all we gotta do is pick up this last crate and we'll, we'll uh, start the next one. I probably only have time for one more because, again, the recording cuts off at uh, 60 minutes. So we'll probably do one more for you guys and then we'll call the video. So, in an hour, we were able to do 12 crates per warehouse. Not bad. And you guys will keep doing this until you guys is warehouse is full now if you guys do it solo um, that's fine I personally would rather do it solo because I would not someone like someone to sit with me and grind these crates out because I know per from personal experience how boring it is to grind crates like it is is you're putting in such a long day of grinding literally So that's why I do them solo, but if you can convince a friend friend or two to help you out, yes, it will make it faster, but you guys need to make sure that you're helping out each other, so that way it's all fair and everything. Because uh, no one likes that person that's like, help me do this, and then you help them, and they're like, ah, time to get off when you you didn't help your other friends that needed you to help. So don't be that player, don't be the player that only likes to receive help and then dips when all your stuff is, uh, is done. You know, help other people out. That selfish mentality, I, I just personally cannot stand that, you guys. And by the way, Cookie and I will be starting a crew. We're just trying to get some of the details sorted out, the name and everything. But once we do, we'll uh, we'll be happy to uh, take people on who are serious about uh, playing the heist and everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire one more up, and then we'll call the video. Because we're about 50 minutes in. Okay. You got to pick a point on your general call. Oh, look at that vehicle for the last one. Very nice.
see which one this one is. Now, if you guys want me to upload all the crate missions in smaller videos, I can do that for you guys. Because, obviously, I'm not going to get to all of them, sadly. This one's going to be Trackify. Hey, you're going to pull up your phone, choose the Trackify app. going to be literally the last dot that spawns on the map. This one. If it's not, then we'll go to the one that's to the right. Down, down right of my uh, position. But I believe it's this one. Yep, look at that. So if you guys aren't good shot, just uh, stop the van with another car, but we're just going to go ahead and take him. The easiest gun to take him with is the assault shotgun. So just pull it out. If you guys can get a headshot, pull out an assault rifle, pistol, marksman rifle, heavy sniper, whatever you guys prefer. Just nail that head. Or if you want, <laughs> if you just want to pour rounds into him, pull out the minigun, he won't stand a chance. <laughs> of course, that would be a little OP. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna follow this way. I don't like the way the GPS is telling us to go. Oh, yeah. yeah, we'll just go this way. You know what? We'll go this way. <laughs> Literally, I looked at the GPS and it's like, it's fine. If the GPS is showing you guys a relatively good route to follow, go ahead and follow it. But if it's like a ton of turns... <laughs> Just make your own route. You can't depend on the GPS 100% of the time. But that rare occasion, sometimes it happens. Alright, the one great mission that I there's a couple I didn't cover there's a Valkyrie where you have to destroy the Valkyrie and then the three Mer Merryweather people spawn out you gotta kill them take the take the crates back and then the other vehicle one I didn't cover was the one where it splits into four vehicles they'll all be blinking on the map the last one to blink that's your target Thieves, it's just going to be three people running. Just blow them up, take it back. And I think that's about all the crate missions. Let me know if I miss one and I will cover it on my channel. That's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I hope it helps out one of you guys. If I, if I, if it helps one of you guys, I'll consider it a success. Like, comment, subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.